I used to watch these all the time as a little kid. Haven't seen them in decades. Glad to see they're still around. Just memories of childhood. Simple things. Well, here we are at New Halem Bay State Park on the Oregon coast. We have uh, high clouds, looks like fog and mist coming in. People just disappear on the beach out there in the fog. We're here for our Pleasure Way uh, group gathering, about 50 vehicles in our group. And it's been a really nice stay here so far. I keep hoping for the sun to burn through all these clouds and have some sunshine for my solar, but it's doing fine at 82% right now. So I wanted to show you what I do with my dogs when we're in places like this where I can take them off leash and let them run their legs off to be careful with the chance they might disappear in the fog. I put a little camping tag on them which says the name of the state park we're at and our campsite in case they do get out of sight and they just bolt like a greyhound after birds or sea waves. So let me show you what that is. Hi Kate. Can I show them the tag I put on you to keep you safe? So I'm sure you'll be returned to me if you get lost in the fog. Okay, just a minute. Let me find out where it's at. There it is. It's one of those little things you can put on your keys to tell what key does what. So on this side I have our campsite and if I flip it over I have uh, well it says return. I think on the uh, Sarah's I've got the name of the campsite we're at the park but these are very handy when you're camping in campgrounds to put on your dog in case they do escape chasing critters or just uh, walk out of the RV and disappear. So I'm going to take her off her leash now. She'll stick around with me pretty much and just let her stretch her legs and play in the water. Okay Kate, you ready? She does have her, uh, let me see, she does have her field collar on which is good for I, I believe a half mile. So I can use that to gently like poke her like a finger just to break her concentration so she'll shake her head and look around and say hey where's, where's Mark <laughs> so let me take her off the leash here you ready Kate ready all right girl <laughs> all right well we're gonna go walk on the beach some more got another day or so here before we head farther south on the start of our long journey Kate's found someone new to visit, make friends with. If there's water, she's in it. <laughs> water doesn't seem to bother her at all. Doesn't bother Sarah either. She's out there, she's crashing through the incoming waves. Thinks she can jump above them and get the birds sailing over them. Oh, there's another one. We got a pool of dogs out here now on the beach. You can see it's still real foggy out here. Oop, Kate found a hole. Oh well. Better keep up with her. Well, it seems the day everyone leaves our little group down here to go to the second meeting further north that Fort Stevens that the sun decides to come out. All I see looking north towards Washington is overcast and gray skies but here the skies have finally opened up after days of thick overcast and it's actually warm you can feel the sun. Well we got one more night here and then we're moving on. Girls and I are heading down to one of our favorite stops in Tillamook 
and from then on we go down further south before heading east and over the grapevine into California. But it's nice to see the weather change on such a beautiful coast. And Katie is taking it all in. So Sarah's back in the old homestead sleeping. She's bored with the squirrels and the birds because they seem to have disappeared for a while. So she just sleeps her days away after we go for several walks on the beach and around the campgrounds, which is a, a huge area. Over 200 campsites with a, a uh, horse corral and everything. and It's just uh, got its own air, airfield here for flying in. This place is immense. So, with that, I'm going to shut this off and enjoy the sun and the beach. Well, here we are at our next stop, the Blue Heron Cheese Factory in Tillamook, Oregon. And since last time I showed up here, they had added gravel to what was their grassy area where harvest host people would park overnight. Now that area has been pushed back into a huge grassy field with, as you can see, uh, over 36 sites for RVers. And this place has just growing in leaps and bounds. It's got brand new beautiful landscaping. The uh, other building outside the main building itself with the blue heron emblem on it that was once a art gallery then a uh, business office for them is now a candy shop. And this place keeps improving and getting better but the coziness and the quaintness of the main building with its cheeses and spreads and deli and wine tasting bar is still really really nice. That's why I always stop here coming and going up and down the Oregon coast. And even my girls like it. Yep, even Kate and Sarah like this place. I think they like it because it's we're out here in a big grassy field. And Sarah sees lots of birds out here and hears them at night. Here's frogs too. And there seems to be people out here to pet Kate and she loves that. So we're here for the night. I went in and had my Reuben sandwich. I always have every time I stop off here. And tomorrow getting up early heading further down the coast of Oregon. Oh, I'm sorry there's no birds right now, Sarah, but you watch. I bet they'll come back this afternoon. The girls have been here several times on our travels up and down the Oregon coast. And I think Sarah remembers where all the birds are out there along that fence line in the brush. She's just keeping her eye on them, listening and watching. Kate's just having fun rolling in the grass, huh, Kate? Yeah, you guys are loving this trip. Yeah, well, we got a long ways to go and a lot of sights to see and a lot of territory to cover, states to go through, and environments to go through. So, we're off to a good start. Spirits are high. And here are a few photos. This is the Harvest Host RV parking area. And these are some odd machinery that they have scattered around the farm. Even some strange old locomotive of some type. Here's the old water tower that you can see from the streets. And this is the main parking area of the Blue Heron. And this is their emblem a large sculpture. They also have a large petting zoo you can buy tidbits and feed the animals. And this is the main entrance in front of their newly renovated and remodeled landscaping. The building in the back is their candy shop. 
and from the Blue Heron, we bid you safe trails and woof woof. <laughs>